What's going on, YouTube? You're right over this back here with another video, guys. Today, happy Friday! All right, we are back. I told y'all I had y'all with this video. So, listen up, y'all. This new film is called The Front Room. Okay, starring first person Brandy B. Rocker Norwood. Anybody that's a Brandy fan, go ahead and let me know in the comments what's your favorite song right now. Make sure you like the video first. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my new videos. I just put out a new video. Um, reacting to what the hell was it? Spy, spy. What the fuck? Smile two and also Life is Strange. Um, was it Life is Strange too? I don't forget. Well, we all know Life is Strange is <laughs> coming out with the OG Max Caulfield. Check the videos out. I put them down here somewhere. But bam, bam, bam. Y'all, I'm excited for this. I've been hearing about this movie that she was going to be in it and that she was going to be starring in it and she's going to be playing in it. So we finally get a trailer. Um, September 6th, 2024. This is going to be a good birthday month for me. That's one of the reasons. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the room. Shall we? The front room. All right. Let's try it again. No. No regrets. She looks so beautiful. Oh shit. My dad is dead. Your father's final request was he wants you to take your mother into your home. I'm willing to give you all the money I got. What the hell? Well, we can pay off the house with that money. Never really hear me is telling me to run away. Welcome home, Solange. Oh, what's your name? Yeah, that's the nursery. Oh, it's she pregnant? Room. Nah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Ain't no way. I realize I do not know my granddaughter's name. We're gonna name her Fern. Another plant you got growing in there? No. <laughs> Used to be parents understood names gotta have pet. She looks good. Oh, what was his name? I didn't know him really well. Mm. Call that a broken family. No, she did. What the hell? She thinks that the Holy Spirit possesses her and gives her power. I can't practice my faith. Not like I used to. You're a racist. You don't know what real racism is. Are you gonna tell me? Have I offended you? Holy shit. Your stepmother. I'm so sorry about that. This computer completely just shut the fuck down. I'm just trying to do a video. I'm trying. I'm just trying to be great the best I fucking can. This whole fucking thing. I can't wait to get a new goddamn laptop. I could have easily put my whole fist through the screen, but then I really wouldn't be able to uh, make no video. Cause there goes my editing. I'm telling you, I don't y'all hate that shit. Technical errors or just like shit like that that happened out of the blue. You trying to be great. You trying to do what you gotta do. And all of a sudden, some shit breaks. Some shit shut down. Life. Any fucking way. Let's get back to the fucking trailer. Your stepmother is literally evil. Stepmother? Do you fear the Lord? No. Fear me. She said that you hit her. Oh! She wants you to think it was me. She wants to replace me. I am her mother. Oh, no, yeah, hey. Oh, no, yeah, hey. Oh, this is my house. Yeah. Being cooped up with a newborn and a mother-in-law can drive anyone crazy. She's gonna smother her. My name is Belinda. Belinda. <laughs> Belinda, honey, get it right. Get it right. Y'all, this is low-key giving get out vibes with a mix of the Exorcist of Emily Rose and some other movie, cause that's what I'm getting. Let's 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 read the um, little description of the film, shall we? We they don't have one. Okay, that's that's just fine too. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Brandy though. Shout out to Brandy. Um, I'm excited anyway because if you guys know, we take a way way back to the late '90s, right? 
Brandy was in her first horror film, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, alongside Jennifer Love Hewitt and some other folks up in there. So um, I, I definitely am glad to see her back in the acting world. Um, what was her last? Was it Queens? It was a show on ABC, but it got canceled after one damn season, but I enjoyed it. This looks pretty damn good. This looks some real, this look real serious right here. But did she say stepmother? Because I know if if that's his stepmama, I'm sorry, but her ass would have been would have would have been stayed at the home. Cause ain't no way you gonna get between me and my husband. Hold on, I'm finna because I didn't I don't think I heard that correctly. You know, them old people flicking their tongues like that, I'm sorry, I that that's not a turn on. I mean it may turn somebody else on, but it's just not doing it for me. Um, no shade. You know, everybody needs a little sexy time, but uh <laughs> it's not it's not it's not doing it for me it's not okay and like they was holding her legs up i'm like what the hell is going on here put her legs down that's weird but um yeah i, I I'm, I'm happy for her you know um and then this is this is like this is some real some real shit right here you know and then plus two of course the husband gonna say oh you hit her bitch i am your wife okay i'm your motherfucking wife of course you already know we don't have the best relationship but that don't mean I would do some shit like that, okay? Cause you do have motherfuckers that do that shit. They'll hit, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself type shit? And then they'll try to blame it on somebody. That's what would piss me off, see, in a relationship. Like, look, I get that's your mama. But goddamn it, I'm, okay? We we are together. We are, we are married. What the fuck, what, what is you on? What the fuck is you on? You gonna believe every goddamn thing you said? Cause if you that goddamn whip about your mama, then I just, I'ma just, I'm, I guess I'ma have to go, unfortunately. Cause I feel like some people, they put others before their relationships and wonder why, and wonder why the shit didn't last. I understand that's your mama. Cause I feel like that about my mama. Anybody get disrespectful with her? I don't, I don't really care for your dumb ass no more. Now, and let me tell y'all something real quick, y'all. I'm not somebody to fight. And I'm thankful for that that I didn't grow up in that type of environment where I had to fight for my life type shit. I had to fight on the way to school, um, in school, hell, leaving school, or just fighting random motherfuckers on the street as I got older. And no shade to anybody that had that kind of life. Sometimes, you know, we don't know what the hell we could be born into, you know. And it's no judgment. I'm just saying I'm thankful that I didn't have to grow up in that type of environment. But I'm going to just put it like this. And you know, anybody out there that can take this as advice, if you're working on some anger problems, or you know, your just your self-control, because sometimes we may, you know, lose that in our in ourselves sometimes. We all, you know, we all human, ain't nobody perfect. But for me, I'm not fighting unless I have to. Like if somebody gets disrespectful from me, like it's all in my personal space, get to doing all this and that, and possibly even putting their hands on me like a shove or something like that. Anything like that, I'm gonna have to do with your ass. I'm gonna have to rock your shit run time. One time. Like I said, I'm not one to fight, just just because, just for the fun of it. Because I do feel like these motherfuckers out here, they'll, they'll fight just for the fun of it. They think that shit is a fucking all around uh, outstanding activity. You know, just to be fighting motherfuckers, just to say they fight motherfuckers or something. Um, or like if you're talking about my mama, my future uh, partner, you know what I'm saying? My future ch child, children, anything like that. No, I'm gonna get with you. Because you're doing too much, okay? Because some people, they want that reaction out of you. You know what I'm saying? Then you end up being the wrong, in the wrong. And then you end up looking crazy and all this type of stuff. Because sometimes you really have to just think before you react, y'all. Please, think before you react. I know we got a little off topic, but it's okay. We coming right back. Um, You do have to think before you say or do. Sometimes you really, really, well, hell, damn near most of the time you have to do that because... You have to ask for your own self, for your own benefit, for your own personal gain. Was it worth it to sock that motherfucker in the face? Now you, you, you know, you might lose your job or um, you might have to move out. You know what I'm saying? And somebody try to say, oh, you try to start some violence and this and that in this nice place you living in. And then because they try to put 20 on 10, uh, now you have to possibly move, you know, something like that. Um, or anything. You know anything regarding your personal gain, all anything that benefits you, just be you know have to, you have to be careful. You know what you say, what you do, because some people ain't even worth that shit. They want that reaction out of you. Don't give it to them. Have them looking stupid. And you want to know the biggest way you can irritate, agitate, aggravate somebody that's trying to get dumb and ignorant with you? 
Like when they doing all this rah rah and yelling and over talking you, not letting you finish. Like somebody's just like ha ah, screaming at you and thinking because they're screaming at you and cutting you off that they're making a point. All you gotta do is just like if you say if you say if you reply to them, you know what I'm saying? Just say it real calm like this. Don't even raise your voice. Don't have no other type of tone. You know what I'm saying? Even if you come back at them, but real nice, nasty with it, like in the tone, the very low, medium volume that I'm using with my voice, just do that. That'll piss them off more. And you can go right ahead. Raise your motherfucking blood pressure up, bitch. You ain't finna raise mine. It, like, it would take a lot for me. Cause like, like sometimes, even when you have debates with people, you know, sometimes you might get a little loud. You might get a little irritated because everybody has different opinions. It's nice though when people think when people are like-minded like you, people have the same maybe thoughts, maybe opinions like you, that's fine. You don't get that all the time, I understand that. But, you know, sometimes people, they just be, they, I feel like people, they say shit and they think that they right. You know, like somebody will look at you dead in the face and tell you that the sky is really green. When bitch, it's more, more than likely light blue with clouds floating around. You know, unless we in the nighttime, that shit is dark as hell. You might see a couple little stars allegedly um floating around in the sky but yeah um but i feel like that whole thing when you when you have to move in with somebody when you're with somebody and they happen to move one of their parents in or something like that you know obviously that can possibly affect the relationship for better or worse you know what i'm saying especially if your partner is catering more towards your their parent than you i know it's two different relationships but if they make that relationship more important than ours, then that's gonna be, I, I'm gonna have an issue with that. You know, and then definitely, she was definitely giving racism, racism and racist when she said, oh, you come from a broken family. Oh, so you just automatically assume that she had a deadbeat daddy, that he, he supposedly said he was going to the store to get some milk and never came back. Bitch, what if, what if her daddy could have died? You know what I'm saying? Like way before she was even born. Like, you know, things like that have happened to people, you know? What if he what if he got locked up, you know, accused of some shit he didn't do? You never know. Why automatically you assume he was he was a deadbeat daddy? And what else did she say? If you see a motherfucker in a funeral looking like this, a whole ass black veil, like we had a motherfucking wedding or something, run. Run. She looks like Velix mama. Literally, look at her real quick. Look, look how creepy that shit looks. No, thank you. She even had something to say about the baby name. Like, oh, they got you gotta have some name with some power. And you know, that's another thing too. A lot of old people, because I guess they feel like they're old, they can just say any and everything. Cause I remember um, when I was younger and my grandmother, she was in a, was she in like a rehab or, you know, like not necessarily rehab like for up here, but like she was just recovering through surgery. And um, I was definitely, like real heavy set back then, like as a, as a kid, a lot of heavy, real heavy and stuff. So this older lady, um, we had took her to lunch and um, she said some real wild shit. She said, uh, she said, I think she said hello to my grandmother as I was pushing her on a wheelchair and pushing her to the table. And she looked at me and I think my grandmother, you know, said that I was her granddaughter and she said, oh, she's as big as you are. So you just straight up disrespected me and her. Double whammy in this bitch. And it's just like, wow, yeah, that, that, that just spilled out of your mouth like it was a compliment. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn lady, what the hell did I do to you? And I was a kid and that shit just really like, it just shattered my soul. Like, it, and I'm not even being funny. Like that really did something to me because you know, I was already kind of used to hearing those type of comments from kids my age, you know, because kids are assholes. And even worse now, you know, it just depends. Um, you know, you have your bullies and people that sit here and make fun of people because of how you look and, you know, things you like to do, whatever it is. And, you know, to hear that from an elder, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you just as old as, you know, you, you all, you in, this, you in this motherfucker just like my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was just a very, it just shattered my soul back in that time, you know. Um, I know you have to let things go. You can't live in the past, right? But that comment, damn, y'all, like, for real, that shit did something to me back in the day. But, yeah, just to show you, you know, old people, they just say anything. Um, and that's why I related to the, back to the movie. But 
Anyway, the front room, y'all, comes out in theaters September 6th. I am very excited. Once again, I'm here to see Brandy, of course. Like, I'm just saying, there's no shade to the other actors in the film, but I'm pretty sure a lot of us, when we found out and saw that Brandy was in the thumbnail, was in the film, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to see this. And this looks pretty darn good. I hope she survives in the end with her baby. Maybe her husband too. Because you never know, the husband might fuck around and, and switch up and be on the mama side. You mama's boy ass motherfucker. But anyway, y'all, that means if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below. Like I said, your favorite Brandy song. All my Brandy fans out there, let me know your favorite Brandy album, okay? Um, For me, it's kind of hard to pick my favorite Brandy song because it's quite a bit of them. But if I had to roll with an album, favorite Brandy album. Ooh, Lord. Um, For me, it would definitely be between Never Say Never and Full Moon because those are the most I've played. I've played out of every single Brandy album. And that's no shade because I fuck with 211 too. I fuck with B7. Even her first album. Okay? But I don't know what it is about Never Say Never and uh, Full Moon. And ma mind you, the other night it was a full moon. I was on my way to work and I happened to look up. I'm like, oh shit, it's a full moon? Okay. I know what time it is. It's full moon time. Okay? So, y'all let me know y'all favorite Brandy album. Like I say, song, all that. And y'all, any reaction requests, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know, all right? Don't be scared. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when it's loaded. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see y'all later on. Stay in the rain. I'm out.